Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and today I'm going to be installing a security camera on the front of my house. I'm standing in my driveway right at my carport now and as you can see down my driveway there I want to have a view of my driveway all the way to the road out front. I purchased this camera off of uh, eBay. This camera, this is the box that came in. It's a Tauntaun on the end of the box it does have a sticker and it also tells you that the app that you use with your telephone is ICC that's the name of the app it also has a, a web page you can go to if you need help with getting the installation done it does come with a quick start guide and it does have enough instructions to get you started. I was able to plug the camera up and uh, make sure it was working and was able to get it to connect to my phone uh, using this little quick start guide. So my next step, let me show you the camera exactly what it looks like. Okay, there's the camera. And it has a plug on the end of it. There's actually three connections here. And these three connections, this one is the power connection. The one looks like this is a reset button. And this one is if you want to connect it up with ethernet and have a, uh, a cable running all the way to your router. Uh, I'm just going to wire it up using the 12 volt electrical plug, which is the plug that looks like this. Now it does require electricity to operate. It comes with a power cable that's 10 foot long. That's a little short, so what I'm going to have to do to, so what I'm going to have to do to install it where I want to install it, I will be using a small extension cord to make it long enough to reach. This is the uh, model number. Hopefully you can see those numbers. It is a 1080p Wi-Fi IP camera, model 1PX2 dash 1329W and it is a Wi-Fi camera it does have an antenna on it so let me show you where I'm going to install this okay this is the front of my house and I'm going to install this right up next to the roof in that corner of the house right up there there is a wasp nest there, so I'll need to get that down first before I get started. But let me get started and I'll let you watch what, how I do it.
Okay, that was a little tight to get that through. I used a one inch hole to drill and get through. And I had to use a three foot uh, drill bit that I had just to tie on to, to push it through so I could pull it out the other end. But now let me get some screws and get the camera mounted. Okay, that got the camera mounted there in the location I wanted it to be mounted. And now I just got to get inside the carport area there and get my electrical plug plugged up to it. Okay, this is the uh, little drill bit that I used to fish that wire through the wall. So now I can go ahead and take this drill bit off. What I did, I taped the wire onto the end of the drill bit so that I could push it through because it was too flimsy to push the wire through itself. Okay, now the inside of my carport here is plywood and it did splinter a little bit right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some caulk and fill the hole full of caulk and patch that little spot there. But for right now, I've got the power cord plugged up. And I'm going to plug the power cord into the power plug here. That will turn the camera on. I'm going to fix it over here so that temporarily it won't get tangled up in my uh, garage door because we sure don't want that to happen. But that, okay, so that should have the camera working outside. Let me uh, get my phone and we'll see if we got a picture on it and then I will adjust it to how I want it to view. Okay, now you do have to download the app to your uh, telephone and I've already got mine downloaded and if you can see it here, I'm looking at it live on my phone. And my neighbor's walking over here right this minute. And it should send me an alarm when he gets close enough to trigger it. Okay, I just got the trigger and you heard the phone beep. So it is working and picking up what I want to pick up. I forgot to mention, but the camera does have a slot for an SD card, and I bought a 32 gigabyte SD card to put in it, and what that will do is it saves my recordings for me so that I can go back and look at what was recorded uh, when the alarm got triggered. This is the actual recording from the security camera. It does make a good quality picture. Okay, that's the finished camera from the front of the house. It's not too very obvious. Get a little closer. And there's what it looks like close up. 
you hear my phone beeping, it's an alarm where I'm out here walking around in front of it. Okay, I got the installation finished and everything is working good. The uh, camera, it's a very inexpensive camera, but it seems to be doing a good job. I would highly recommend this camera if you just want something to do the basic. One thing that I will make a point of is that it does pick up people uh, that are moving, but it will not pick up your car. If you drive a car through it, it will not pick up the car. But it is good at picking up movement of people and hadn't actually had any animals come through yet to test it, so I'm not sure about that. It does have sensitivity adjustment on it, and I'll probably have to play with that a little bit to get it exactly like I want it. But so far, I'm very pleased with how it operates, and it was very simple to install. Uh, I would say I probably spent about 45 minutes actually doing the installation total time. And it took me probably 30 minutes to download the app and get everything working using the app. But now I'm a little older, so I'm a little slower. Uh, the younger people that are familiar with apps and how all this works probably can do that in a lot less time than what it took me. But anyway, I'm very pleased with it. We're going to test this out if we like it. Uh, sometime in the future, I'm going to get a system with four cameras with uh, DVR so that it will record and save everything that's going on. But for right now, this does the job for what we needed. So thanks everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you will, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks everyone. Have a blessed day.